Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and today I just wanted to do a quick Q&A. Uh, it's in response to a comment I got on my video that I made about honoring people. We honor God when we honor people. And so the question was basically, um, whenever you have a person, like with my mentor, she was removed out of my life because I didn't have honor for her. I didn't honor her. When I first met her, you know, I was just so excited. But then I started treating her like a client because uh, she actually became a client, but she was also sent to be my mentor to mentor me in the ministry of deliverance. But I started treating her as a client instead of honoring her as someone who really walked with God and was sent to uh, be uh, my mentor, to be someone that I was supposed to be submitted to. I didn't see her that way. But um, I was, I didn't really know about honor then. I basically had a, I guess, I guess you could say a mentality that uh, everyone is created equal. And I know we say that, but there are, there are certain people in certain positions that those positions and those people have actual authority over us. We will never be equal to them. No matter how much we want to be equal to them, we will never be equal to them. And some of, um, one, I guess I can just go through some of those people that we will never be equal to. Uh, a person um, mainly is our parents. We will never be equal to our parents. No matter how much we want to be, you know, equal to them, and treat them how you know we feel like they need to be treated or treat them like they're our equals but God ordained that specific uh, position as a parent uh, it's an authority position and you have authority uh, over your children they will never be your equal it doesn't matter you can be you know your child can be 50 60 years old and but they will never be your equal they will still be your child you still have authority over them you know and and they are supposed to honor you. That's what the Bible talks about. Your children are supposed to honor you. We are supposed to honor our parents. But it doesn't necessarily work out that way all the time. But in God's eyes, He has set certain authorities uh, over in this world. The government, um, we have our leaders in the church, we have people, our teachers in the schools, um, you know, military police officers, uh, even you know you know uh mentors um different types of people that we actually are supposed to be submitted to to learn um to respect um you know to honor so one of the questions was like if a person you know they feel like i guess you're uh uh familiar if you're familiar with them or you know um you know why would they be moved, removed out of your uh, life or why would they leave your life and I will um, sum it up with this uh, I'm going to read in about Moses and what happened with his brother Aaron and Miriam his sister and if you go in Numbers chapter 12 and a lot of times when I'm teaching on honor I will go through and read this um, you know because this is uh, I would say an example of honor and dishonor and how the Lord feels about that you know how he feels about someone that um, has a relationship with him or someone that he has placed in authority being dishonored so in Numbers 12 and this is talking about Miriam uh, Aaron whenever uh, Miriam and Aaron actually basically spoke against Moses because Moses um, married an Ethiopian woman you know he married her and so they were upset about that they spoke against Moses now remember Moses is their brother okay and so Moses had married this woman and if you go down in uh, when you go down to Numbers 12 verse 2 it says and they said hath the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses hath he not spoken also by us and the Lord heard it okay so what they're doing here they're starting to say, you know, we're equal to Moses. We are equal to Moses because does God only, you know, is Moses the only person that God speaks to? No, God speaks to us too. So, you know, what's so special about Moses? God speaks to him. God speaks to us. 
So that's, that's what they're doing. They're starting to see themselves as being equal to Moses. But the Lord actually heard this and they were not equal to Moses. I mean, even if they were, uh, you know, Moses was their brother and God was speaking them to, you know, speaking to them too, they were not, not equal to Moses. And so they were speaking against Moses. And so this is what happened. Now, the cool thing about Moses, when you go down in um, verse 3, it talks about that Moses was very meek. It says, now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. Now, meekness, you know, that's that's a good person. You know, that's a person that's real humble and everything. You know, he was very, very meek. And so that's another reason why I believe he had a really close relationship with the Lord because, you know, that's that's a characteristic of the, of the Lord Jesus. When you read, uh, the Lord Jesus actually talks about, you know, learn of me. You know, I am meek and lowly in heart. You know, he says he's, he's meek and lowly. And that's the Lord Jesus saying that. So Moses here, it says that Moses was very meek. And so down in four it says, And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses. Right, you know, the Lord heard this and he started speaking to Moses. And unto Aaron and unto Miriam. So he spoke to all three of them. He spoke to them. And he said, um, he says, Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three all came out. So now... And then it says, And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. Now this is so cool. Now this is the Lord talking to them after he heard them, you know, talk about Moses. You know, basically saying that they were equal to Moses. The Lord said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark, dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And then when you go down here, you, you see that, you know, um, uh, Miriam, uh, Moses' sister, she was struck with leprosy after that. And they had to pray it off of her. They had to get it off of her. You know, they had to um, go to the Lord and ask the Lord to remove it. But this is what I'm saying here. Honor is something that comes from your heart because this is what the Lord told me. You can respect someone to their face, but inside their heart, you don't have honor for them. The honor is how you treat them. How do you see them? Do you see yourself as being equal to them? Do you see yourself as being equal to your parents? Do you see yourself being equal to the government? Do you see yourself being equal to the pastor? Do you see yourself being equal to your mentor, someone that God has placed over you to help you uh, get to a certain place? Do you see yourself as equal to them? It's a very high level of respect. Think of someone that you have the highest honor for. You know, um, a lot of people have a high honor for Obama. A lot of people have high honor for Trump. A lot of people have high honor for certain celebrities or uh, singers. Um, you know, when they if they come in their presence, you know, they're like, you know, really excited. You know, they're they're you know, um, they treat that person really, really high and respectful. Like with the judge, when we go into the courtrooms, you know, we, we honor the judge. We speak to him in a, you know, respectable way. We even stand when he comes in. You know, it's, it's a way that, you know, you, you honor and, um, you know, treat them. Think of someone like that that's, you know, you feel like, like military. A lot of people honor the military, you know. They, they have high respect and honor for the military, and um, which is great. So think about how you treat a person that you really have high honor for. When you have a person that is walking with God really, really close, you definitely want to honor them higher than just a normal person that you have honor for, like the military, you know, or um, the president. Um, these people are walking with God really, really close, so you need to honor them higher. I mean, you know, um, you have Moses here, and, um, you know, 
you know, nobody was equal to Moses during that time, you know, and you can't actually say that, you know, you can't actually think that you're equal to Moses just because you hear God's voice, because, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, uh, to answer your question is that it's something that comes from your heart and the Lord, you know, this person didn't actually leave my life. She was removed from my life. I couldn't actually get in touch with her anymore because she was traveling. She was doing a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff anyway, but I just couldn't get in touch with her anymore. And, um, it was because of that. And, uh, but you know, the cool thing is that you can always repent like with, um, you know, Moses and Aaron and Miriam, you know, they prayed and they went to the Lord and, you know, um, you know, she, you know, the curse was removed from her, <laughs> but, um, you can always repent and the Lord can teach you how to honor people. I hope, uh, that answered your question. I do have a, pr a few videos that I need to be recording today. Uh, the Lord wants me to start, um, teaching on, uh, and going into and focusing on the life of Jesus. So, in my next video, that is what I'm going to talk about. And maybe a few videos. I don't know how much we're going to uh, be able to do with it. Um, but uh, we're going to be talking about the life of Jesus and how Jesus actually lived. So, but thank you so much for commenting. Uh, if you have any more questions, anything, leave comments on my uh, video. And I would love to do these type of Q&A videos. And uh, just to kind of go into a little bit more uh, details about uh, whatever videos I post. I'm totally cool with that. And um, so I hope you actually have a great day. And everyone else that's listening, I hope you guys, um, you know, are able to understand what I'm saying. And also I'll link a link uh, if you want to go back and watch that video. If you haven't watched it, it's about honoring God and honoring people. And um, just sharing how that's what God wants us to do. And we honor God when we honor people. You know, we honor God when we honor them. No matter if they are bad parents or bad government you know uh, when we still honor them we still do our part god honors us and he is pleased with us when we show honor okay all right god bless